Hi there, let's see how we can create a drop shadow effect in our layouts. Start by creating an empty activity and open its layout file. Here we can see the root layout is constrained layout. We have to divide this uh, screen into two halves and so that we can uh, create a above and below effect, simply a shadow effect. Uh, drag and drop a constraint layout here. And we can call it CL above. Uh, connect all the four constraint by click, uh, clicking this button here. Now you can see all the constraints are connected and change the height to 200 dp. So here is our layout. Let's change the color so that we can see what's going on. And root colon background. Ash. 0, 0, 0. So this black portion here is our uh, top portion. Delete this bottom constraint so that it stays in the top. Okay, now we, have, we need another layout for the remaining portion. Drag and drop another constraint layout and call it CL below. Like earlier, we have to click this button to connect all the constraints and change this top con actually delete this top constraint from here and click on it and connect it to the bottom constraint of CL level. Now it's connected to the bottom constraint of CL level and there is a margin of 8 dp, we have to make it 0. By clicking here, we can make it 0 and change the colors. You can see uh, the black color here is CL above and the red color here is CL below. Now what we need to do is we have to create a shadow effect uh, where it, the two layouts connect. Uh, we can create a shadow effect by uh, adding a linear layout here. Call it shadow obviously. And you have to make sure that it is in at the uh, bottom in the list. Here you can see in the root layout, shadow is now on the top. We have to make it on the bottom. Otherwise, you won't see, see that. So, change uh, like earlier, connect this all the constraints now all the constraints are connected and change the height to 8 dp now you can see that this white line here is our linear layout uh, we can connect it to this constraint here and delete the bottom constraint and change the margin to zero now it's connected to the bottom portion of our CL above layout. Now we have to change this white color into a gradient. To create a gradient, uh, open the RES folder and uh, in the drawable folder we have to create a new drawable resource file. Name it shadow top to bottom. Click on the text tab here change the selector into shape and add an attribute called android column shape and select rectangle inside this shape tag you can create a gradient tag it takes a number of arguments uh, we have to provide a start color let's give it black and we have to provide an end color Let's say Android colon color slash transparent. Now this shadow you can see in the preview now this shadow is from left to right. We have to make it from top to bottom. For that, I use the angle attribute and give it the value 270. So we have created a shape tag. Inside that, we have created a gradient tag 
and we have given a start color that is pure black to an end color of transparent now uh, we have to change this full black from some gray color so we can slide this opacity to around 150 okay now it's a kind of a gray color and back in our main activity layout file change the background color of that linear layout to the newly created shadow drop now you can see here that gives us a shadow effect now we can change the colors so top and bottom layouts yeah there's a shadow effect if we change our background color to color primary yeah now it looks much better let's run this in our phone and see how it's looking I can show you my phone but I can take a screenshot from the phone and show you how it looks screen capture this is how it looks on the phone there is a shadow effect but it's kind of an overdo we have to reduce the height of the linear layout so that it's more pleasing change the height to Four dp and run that up again now this looks much better than the earlier one Really, it was 8 dp height, now it's 4 dp. Now it's look better. Now, if you want to change the shadows, direction, for example, uh, now you can see this top portion is above this bottom portion. We can sim change it simply by changing the angle here. Let's change it to 90 degrees. Now you can see this shadow has changed direction from bottom to top. Run this app and you can see. Yeah, it has changed direction from top to bottom. Now you can see this bottom layout is on top of the above layout. This is how it looks on the phone. 